Mm -hmm. Hi, ho, boys and girls. Welcome to the channel. Salty reacts. This is salty. <laughs> Super exciting, I know. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. How's the family, man? Give them a hug for me. Leave the old crazy uncle on the back porch. It might be me. <laughs> I'm an old geezer. I react to all kinds of uh, different recommendations, suggestions, etc. ad infinitum. I talk too much. I rewind probably too often, especially if I don't understand what the heck's going on. And at the end of things, I give it a rating based on my super scientific barbecue scale. Ooh, as it scrolls by zero to 10. Super fancy. Completely worthless, because honestly, what the hell do I know anyways? But it's fun, and that's what we do here. Uh, if you would mind, like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit the dinger button today. We're going to do some Bo Burnham. Can't handle this Kanye rant. He's going off on Kanye. I'm good with that. <laughs> Yeezy. The Yeez. Let's get over here and see what we got. Um, my goodness. Last last two videos I tried to post today have been blocked worldwide. So hopefully this one works. Hopefully this one works. I went to Kanye West recent tour, the Yeezus tour. It was a big dramatic theatrical show. He did something very strange at the end of his show where he ranted for like 20 minutes. It was kind of a rant, kind of a song. He had auto-tune on his voice and there was an instrumental in the background, like this instrumental. <laughs> Church rant. <laughs> Talked about his problems. Race, power. His $90 t-shirts weren't selling very well. That was most of it. And I watched this. <laughs> I thought maybe I could do this. I'll be honest, my problems are not as high stakes as Kanye's. A $90 t-shirt, I, I can understand why they wouldn't be selling. Good Lord. I think I've, I think I've got the, the last t-shirt I bought was like $6 at Walmart. But I have problems. <laughs> or maybe it was And maybe a crowd in New York would be Goodwill. nice enough to indulge me. So as we get to the end of a night of theater and comedy and sweaters coming on and off, I got one question for you. And that question is... This kid's funny. Can I say my shit? <laughs> New York. Can I say my shit? Yeah. I got lots of shit to say. I got lots of shit to say. Ooh. I can't fit my hand inside a Pringle can. Huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can get my hand like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth. But by that point, a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can, so they all go spill it onto my face. Jesus Christ. This is probably, honestly, at this point, it's already better than pretty much anything on the uh, on the radio. I mean, if he was, yes, yeah, much better. Laid at the bottom of the can, so they all go spill it onto my face. What I'm trying to say is the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. I'll say it again: the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two <laughs> radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. Come on. If you feel me, put your hands up. Look at all these hands that are way too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside of Pringle cans. Your hands are too big to fit inside of Pringle cans. <laughs> you think you can? I know you can. You think you can? Pringles, listen to the people. I'm yeah. sure 90% of the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans. Just make them wider. I gotta admit, I gotta admit, I've not, we've not had Pringles in a hot minute, but it's, it's always, it gets past, well, this reach or something like that maybe maybe get the two fingers to get contained up under but then you gotta very gently start to just do the little the little shake and shift so you can grab them because he's right yeah otherwise you wind up wearing all the goddamn crumblies all sorry i said a bad word all the crumblies all over you all, all over yourself it is stupid and if the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans yeah. just make them wider I've overdone the Pringles thing. 
Sorry. Not really, no. I think you're accurate. I want to have a daughter. <laughs> want to have a daughter. So I can finally have someone around the house who can fit their hands in a Pringle can. Yes, I'm still on the Pringle can thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll move on, Jeez. all right? <coughs> but that is priority numero uno. Yeah. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. Fair enough. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. That's a catch-22. Yeah. I really want to get auto-tuned, but I can't afford it. So I can sing to everybody. <laughs> I'm sure you'd love to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. I went at Chipotle. Went at Chipotle. Got myself a chicken burrito. I'll go to Chipotle. They they have rejected a lot of the local farmers. I don't go there. Uh, they 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 they, they kicked the local farmers to the curb. They're going. To, they're only going oh, big stuff. I don't go there anymore. I went down the line. I got like all these ingredients, and then at the end of the line, the guy tried to wrap the burrito, but half of the shit inside the burrito spilled out. He still wrapped it. I was like, dude, you should have warned me. You're a burrito expert. You should have told me halfway through. Hey, man, you might be reaching maximum burrito capacity here. Do you think I want a messy burrito? No one wants a messy burrito. The whole appeal of a burrito is that all of the ingredients are contained within the confines of the tortilla. I wouldn't have gotten half this shit if I knew it was going to fit in the burrito. All right, look. I wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it would have fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it would have fit. I think I know where this, he's, 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 this is going to be. This is a big build up or something here. I feel it. But, yeah, uh, I, A, I don't go to Chipotle. I go to the local, well, I live in Arcadia, Florida. We've got some of the, <laughs> it's like going to Texas. You get some of the best damn uh, Mexican food you ever want here. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it would have fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they would have fit. I wouldn't have got, 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 got half of it like I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat. You want the pork anyways. You don't put chicken on your burrito. What the hell's the matter with you? Crazy. Damn kids. Chicken, I'll take pork, but I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Think it's Tom, think it's Tom, that we break it down. Lord have mercy, this kid. Oh shit. I mean, poop. <laughs> I can sit here and pretend like my biggest problems are Pringle cans. And burritos. The truth is, my biggest problem's you. I wanna please you, but I wanna stay true to myself. I wanna give you the night out that you deserve, but I wanna say what I think and not care what you think about it. I feel that. I feel that a lot. I really feel that. There's a, you know, I, I have probably, in a lot of reactions, well, a lot, but in a handful of reactions that I've done, I've probably been a little bit more forgiving of my opinion than it would be because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I mean, some people love stuff and it's, it's, you know, if, if I go, oh, Christ, this is absolutely atrocious, which I've done on a couple of things. I mean, I have just 
toilet slammed a, 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 a couple of things and oh my goodness shattered feelings because of my opinion I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings I mean I'm trying to do this and have a good time as I'm sure Bo was trying to do what he's doing and just have a good time and well be entertaining and all that kind of good stuff if it, I know I'm not entertaining. I just ramble too much. But Bo's entertaining, and I can see that he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to let people down or hurt their feelings. And I, I, I feel that. Something you deserve, but I want to say what I think and not care what you think about it. A part of me loves you. Part of me hates you. <laughs> part of me needs you. Part of me fears you. I don't think that I can handle this right now. That's some heavy handle shit. Handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. That's really heavy. I don't think that I can handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. Right. Look at them, they're just staring at me like, come and watch the skinny kid with a steadily declining mental health. And laugh as he uh, attempts to give you what he cannot give himself. I think that I can With a steadily declining mental health And laugh as he uh, attempts to give you what he cannot give himself Man, that's some Robin Williams level stuff going on right now That's Jesus Hey man, somebody shout out to Bo and, 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 and You know, give, give, the, give the kid a hug or something I mean, he... You know, this is this is days on end now. I've been I've been I've been hearing songs and music that indicate some mega mental issues with folks, and I don't know. This is oh, this went from funny to just really disturbing here in a, in a hot in a, in, a, in a split second, a hot second. Finding mental health and laugh as he uh, attempts to give you what he cannot give himself. I don't think that I can handle this right. I don't think that I can handle this right. But they don't even know the herb of this right. But they don't even know the herb of it. But I know I'm not a doctor. I'm a pussy. I put on a silly show. I should probably just shut up and do my job. So here I go. Wouldn't have got the letters if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got half. You can tell them anything if you just make it funny, make it rhyme. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. They got on your head all this time. I got chills, man. This this kid, he's he's really nailing. He, I I hope. I hope against hope, that he is saying this. From a genuine, comedic side, but I have a stinking suspicion there's a great deal of reality. In his comment. Randy statements or what have you. This is this is. I am now. I'm super disturbed about this. He's funny as hell, but it's so worrisome. Good night. I hope you're happy. Oh, Christ, kid. Wow. Wow. 
that that was far far deeper than I well obviously than I than I expected at the onset I thought it was just gonna be stab fun at Kanye or something like that um Um, this gets, this gets, uh, beef plate ribs. This is, uh, and, and a couple of sides. I'm giving this a nine and a half. Yeah, I'm giving it a nine and a half, maybe even higher. It probably should go higher, but I, I uh, yeah, nine and a half. Dang. Thank you all so much for this recommendation, suggestion, recommend, recommendation. Yeah, I'm a little, uh. I'm a little shell shocked after this one. Wow. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the dinger button. More suggestions down in the comment section. I would appreciate it. I love all of you. Hug your family. See you in the next one. Bye.